Alright, so this is the setup I decided to go with. So I went with the NRG 2.5 quick release kit. Um, for the Celica, you need the SRK 121H model for the hub. And then I decided to go with the DD steering wheel. So let me show you guys what I got. So I got their fourth annual release of their Breast Cancer Awareness Month steering wheel. It's Alcantara Suede. And I got number 145 out of 150 that they end up making. So just a quick story as to why I went with this steering wheel. A couple years back, someone who's very special to me had, well, went through breast cancer. And it was an event that definitely changed my life. So it ended up pushing me onto bigger and better things. And this is just a reminder. It adds more personality to the car also. So that's always a plus. But yeah, definitely can't wait to install this. So let's go. All right guys, so what you're gonna do first is disconnect the battery for 15 minutes. Uh, the negative terminal, I just disconnect the negative and positive. And after that, you're gonna start removing the steering wheel. So to remove the OEM steering wheel, you're gonna need a T30 Torx and you have two screws right here one on this side and one on the opposite side so once you break those loose we'll get going so the reason why you want to disconnect the battery is to make sure that the airbag doesn't go off while you're removing this and another thing it's going to be a little tricky when you're removing the torx bolts because Show you one. All right, so the way these go in, if you can see this one, let me see. So you can see one of the torque screws right there popping off real quick. Let me just disconnect the clock spring. So the re yours won't have tape. Uh, I had done some work on it before, so I had to tape it. But you just pop out this clip and it slides right out. And this is the airbag. So once you set that to the side, now you have the clock spring and your cr cruise control which are gonna pop off as well. But, so cruise control, clock spring, now they're disconnected, I mean an uh, airbag. And then this is where the torque screw was. So, if you can see right there on that one, you have to pull this plastic part off as you're taking out the torx bit or else it's not, never gonna come out. So once you get those out, like I said, you just disconnect this, disconnect this, and now we're going to disconnect this bolt right here. So this is going to be a 19. Nothing a little impact can't handle. And what you do want to do is once you re-tighten it, I mean, once you loosen it, you're going to want to re-tighten it a bit. And you're going to want to mark the center. You just want to have some kind of point so, so that you know what line you want to follow. But again, we're going to resume taking everything off. I'm probably going to need a steering wheel puller, but we're going to see how this goes. Oh, nothing a little, a little tug and pull can't fix. 
All right, so now that we're at the clock spring, we're gonna go ahead and pop out this plastic. All right, so there's three positions on the clock spring that you're gonna pop out. And then you want to make sure to disconnect the clock spring again. There we go. Alright, so it's the clock spring. Now that that's out, we can start connecting. It's everything removed. You get your hub. And you're going to line it up to what would be center. In this case, that's mine. You make sure it's all the way secured in there. And then you go ahead and you re-tighten. So you're going to want to lock the steering wheel and torque it to 25 foot-pounds. But to do that, you're going to have to lock the steering wheel. So I'm just turning until it locks. All right, so now that it's locked, now we're gonna torque it at 25 foot pounds. There we go. Double click just to make sure, double checking. So this top point is meant to be the top. This is like the NRG, remember we locked the wheel because we were torquing it. So, you want to make sure that the NRG or this top point as well. Not really sure how good you guys can see this. So, you guys see that silver point right there that's pointing to the top. This is the NRG. Like I said, it turned when we were torquing it down. And if you guys see right here, above the NRG is a small point. So, it's meant to match with that point. plastic parts back into place. I had already pre-installed my quick release, so. I just popped in there because like I said the horn's not currently working but yeah so this is it right here and of course I am gonna have an airbag light on since there is no airbag and I didn't connect the relay or anything to bypass that but yeah this is it guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Just a quick note for you guys. 
originally I installed the wrong set of screws so if you guys see these are flat and these are actually for the steering wheel I had the package mixed up but the ones that go to the hub or to the quick release are actually rounded so I just wanted to point that out make sure you guys don't make the same mistake they have to be rounded instead of flat 